everybody it's Courtney so I have these string lights I've been trying to figure out what to do with them I think you kind of I don't know I'll figure that out later <laughs> okay so today I'm back with two short stories that I read on Amazon they're both about parents and their relationships with their children the first story is called My Evil Mother. <laughs> it's actually by the same creator of The Handmaid's Tale, Margaret Atwood. This is a story about a daughter's journey to understand her nonconformist mother. The mother is quirky, very protective, caring, she's loving, and she may or may not be a witch. This short story is short. However, it does span all the way from the daughter's teenage years all the way until she has a daughter of her own. I thought that this was a very nostalgic story told by the daughter. I thought that it was funny at times, like it had this parts about stolen penises, but I also thought it was extremely sentimental as well. I loved that the mother called her my pet. You could really see that her mother loved her a lot. I felt that some parts of the book were really relatable when it came to certain phrases. Like my mother used to always tell me the phrase, that's for me to know and for you to find out. I also felt that there was relatable in the whole cycles that sometimes daughters have with their mother where you're talking, then the mama upsets you, and then <laughs> you're not speaking for a while, then you have a certain amount of peace, and it's a repetitive cycle. I go through that with my mom. Thankfully, right now, we are, are on good terms. I will say though, the when the daughter has a daughter of her own, her 15 year old daughter to me is quite disrespectful. And I found myself questioning, I mean, is that just acceptable behavior for a teenager these days? I just know that if that was my mom, she would have had me in a chokehold and a headlock. It's just not going down like that. I do think that this book did make me question do I turn into my mother when I get older or some version of her? And what extent do parents go to in order to protect their children? I gave this book five stars, five, 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 five. I thought that it was very entertaining. I thought it was a bit quirky. I thought it was heartwarming warming, and I felt that it was a quick read. So I like that. The next story is a personal story by the author Walter Kuhn. I think I'm saying that right. And how he spent the last few weeks of his father's life in a cabin with him in the mountains of Montana. Walter's dad was a loving, successful, yet gruff, ornery, flawed man who, you know, took care of his family. And, you know, over time through the, his sickness has become this weak shell of himself that Walter has to witness. And while at this cabin, Walter and his father encounter this bear that has a certain amount of symbolism to them. I thought that this story was very relatable. You have this father who built this cabin in the mountains that he loves and he wants to spend his last days there enjoying nature, looking at animals and with his son who he cares about a lot. It's also relatable in that they grew up close but have distanced themselves as adults and then somehow came to mend their relationships. And I think that happens a lot when it comes to children as they grow up. You're not always that same closeness that you are with a family member. I think this story is very relatable for anyone who is close with someone that has a debilitating illness and you slowly see that progression of the illness kind of take away that person that you knew. And that is definitely difficult to watch. I also thought that it was interesting that this book talked about COVID. It was set during, you know, this pandemic time where you have people that have emotional isolation and then have to reemerge into society and, you know, get to know how to deal with other people again. 
I thought that the father's many sayings were definitely interesting. Uh, one that stood out for me was how he told Walter he needs to get a lawyer before he needs a lawyer because if he waits, then the lawyer he gets is not the one that he wants. And I think that is probably true for most of us. I also thought that it was interesting how the father confused going to Montana for assisted suicide, which I did not know was legal there, but I guess it is. But <laughs> you have illegal suicide versus hospice care because those are definitely, definitely not the same thing. I did think that the ending was beautiful. I thought that it was symbolic. And I really did enjoy that the author included pictures um, of the cabin with the bear and all that stuff inside of the book. So a very good book. I gave it five stars. Very heartwarming, very quick. I enjoyed that. I think so. These are two books that are worth checking out. Got mother and daughter, father and son. Can't go wrong. Leave me some comments below. If you read these, let me know what you think. And please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Bye.